it's Bella and today I'm just on campus and I'm about to get ready to go to my book club meeting which is actually in a couple minutes so I'm gonna go and do that soon but today is gonna be a really exciting day I'm gonna be hanging out with one of my friends and we're gonna be going to this bookstore in DC called Mahogany Books that I've been wanting to go to for literally forever and then we're gonna go to another cool place to eat called Busboys and Poets and then I think we're gonna go to a museum so I think overall it's gonna be a really great day. Also, I got my hair cut into a pixie cut, which I am so freaking happy about. And yeah, honestly, I am just obsessed with it. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished the book club meeting and it was amazing. So if I haven't told you guys this already, the book club that I'm in is basically just a bunch of us meeting up and every week we read a different piece of radical leftist political theory. So this week we read some prison writings about revolutionary leadership and we just had the most incredible conversations. We basically talked about the structure of revolutionary leadership and, and how it needs to be a collective leadership rather than a top-down organizational structure. Whereas rather than a vertical structure, which was used in revolutionary movements in the past, for today's political climate, we need more of a horizontal leadership structure where everyone has a role. And we talked about how that, among other things, are what's needed to make the revolution successful. So right now I'm just chilling in the amphitheater because I'm waiting for my friends so we can go to the bookstore and do all our fun stuff today. So right now I'm just gonna sit and enjoy just this quiet, spot of nature on campus and I will update you guys later.
everyone, I'm back. I just got back from the gallery of art and I actually locked myself out of the building in my room. I forgot my keys like an idiot and my very lovely friend Barrett let me back in the building and now we're on the roof so hopefully I'll find a way to get back into my room. It's Barrett. Hi. It's Barrett. <laughs> Isn't the weather so nice today? No, it's like so it's, it's It finally like feels like fall and like the leaves are starting to change and like the sky is like nice and gray and it's chilly and like there's a breeze and, like it's literally perfect. <laughs> okay, also I went to Mahogany Books today. So I am going to do a little book haul because that place is literally amazing. It's a black owned bookstore and pretty much all the books there are written by black authors. And when I say I bought a lot of books, I did some damage. <laughs> So the first book I bought is this black sci-fi short stories gothic fantasy book and look how gorgeous this book is. And next I have the collected poems of Audre Lorde. I love Audre Lorde and so I am very excited to read all of the poems in here. I just know they're going to be amazing so I was really happy to buy this. Next, I bought The Taking of Jack Livingston by Ryan Douglas. This looked really perfect for October and spooky season, so I am really looking forward to reading this. The cover is gorgeous as well. Next, I got a classic, Angela Davis, Freedom is a Constant Struggle. My friend Kayla, who I was with today, recommended this to me, and of course, Angela Davis is a classic, super excited to read this. And then last but not least, I got this book called No Gods, No Monsters by Cadwell Thurnbull, which this cover is absolutely stunning, but the preface just looked absolutely incredible. I am so excited to read this. Again, it looks really quite perfect for fall. So I am really happy with all of these books that I got. They all look amazing. And if you're in DC, I would highly recommend going to Mahogany Books. So me and Barrett just went to get tacos really quick for dinner. It was really nice. And I'm back. I'm super tired. Today was such a long but amazing day. Like I haven't had a day this good in so long. It was just my perfect day with perfect company and it was just so nice. But I think for the rest of the night, I'm going to wind down, hopefully try to get some work done for tomorrow. I know I have some readings to do for my gender studies class in the morning, but other than that, I think I'm going to watch some Netflix and that'll be the rest of my night.